get it. I can't get it. I'm good. Where's your ID? Would you please remove your hands off of me? No, I will not. I'm not resisting. No, I will not. No, I will not. And I recommend you don't resist. So put your shoes on. Why would I resist so you y'all can go ahead, put my your hands. shoes on? That's what I want to do anyhow. What's your problem? You? You know what? We came here because you called for help. I, I didn't, I didn't call help. you. I didn't call oh. you. Who'd you call? And this is why African Americans have issues with law. Don't start that. This police body cam video is a good example of police not fully understanding how to conduct the basic of investigations. And in this case, this was a check, a welfare check. They got the call saying that the individual supposedly had indicated that he was suicidal. When they arrived, first thing the, one of the officers does is tries to go in and check the rooms for other people in the place, forgetting that their primary purpose is the welfare of this individual. When that occurs, the individual gets agitated, claims he was former law enforcement and says that they don't have a right to search his house, which at that point they don't. And rather than de-escalating the individual by using de-escalation techniques, such as active listening, be sincere in your inquiry for that person's well-being. That's why you are there. Talk to that individual. Rather, once the person gets agitated, instead of implementing de-escalation techniques, they agitate the individual quickly and put them in cuffs. Furthermore, they have no understanding of what the anger cycle is. Understanding the anger cycle begins with questioning. And then it, then it escalates to back talk. And then it'll progress to refusal. And then it'll uh, progress to a, a challenge. Understanding each one of these steps in an anger cycle can help you de-escalate. So if a guy's challenging you, you know that the next step is outburst. So you want to de-escalate the situation and bring him down. And you do that by using techniques such as active listening, being calm, being polite, trying to be sincere, show empathy, none of which were displayed, if you will, by the police in this situation. They end up locking up a veteran, losing their qualified immunity over this case. Hi, Doug. Douglas, Mr. Slade. Yes. How you doing? I got a call. Can we come in and talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone else in the house? No. no. I'm just going to make sure nobody else is No, here. please. No, 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 no. Oh, I asked you. No. Hey, hurry up. Hurry up. Just go. I'm going to Because this is my house. Okay. Number one, you just can't walk around. Let me ask you just a couple questions. Okay. The veterans, people, they, they were concerned. Okay. Regarding a couple things. One was which that you were threatening to commit suicide. That's not true. Okay, so what I'm here for is just to make sure you're not going to do something like that. You understand? So if you need our help, that's what, what I'm here for. So we're not here to mess with you, bother you, or anything. Well, you do understand if you just walk in my place and you just automatically start walking around. And I know y'all wear body cam. That's so unfortunate too. If you just come in my place like that and you just start walking around, you're not gonna have my permission to do that. So I don't appreciate that. You can't violate my rights because you gotta call me. Okay. So you're not you're not helping me if you just come in and you are and start violating. Well, sir, those more for like officers. No, it's not officer safety because I I didn't even have to let you in. Right. So uh, no, no, don't say right because it's about my safety because you're in my domain and if you're here to help me, you can't say well my safety because I have no weapon. Obviously, you we don't know that. You do know that because I'm asking you to leave. Please leave. I'm asking you so to leave. You don't feel like I know. I'm asking, I'm asking you to leave. You don't please please leave. leave. I'm asking you to leave my residence. So if you answer this question, then I'm, ask, I'm asking you to leave my residence. I'm about to put you in handcuffs, sir. If you do that, that's your choice. Okay, turn around. Put your hands around. Why would you put me in handcuffs? What? Turn around, put your hands around your back. What have I done? 
You're going to listen to what I said. You're going to put down the phone. You're calling 911, and I'm standing right here. But what have I done? Put down the damn phone. Why are you Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Why are you using profanity? Put your hands behind your back. Why are you using... Because, you know what? You're calling 911, or standing right in front of you. But I'm asking you to leave my residence here. I'm not leaving your place now. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You said you can't get a help. I'm not doing that now. All right, put your hands behind your back. You're calling 911 right in front of us. Because I asked you to leave my residence. We can't leave. You know this. determined. You know this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, if I you were law enforcement, then you would understand. Okay. And this is why African Americans have issues with law Don't start that. Right? Don't start that. That's a bunch of I asked you to leave, and you used profanity at someone? That's okay. I could use that. Oh, really? For so someone yes. who you concerned about yes. doing something to themselves? Hey, you know what? When you're not listening to commands, what did you do? That wasn't a command. All right. A command for me to ask you to leave my residency? You got you to command us to do that. I can ask you to leave if you're not supposed Why are you here? You were here to help me. And I got here because somebody wanted us to shut and up. I, and I told you I was fine. And then you started exacerbating my condition. Why are you putting your hand up like for me not to speak? You can't help a person if you don't want to listen to what they are saying. If I ask you to leave because you're exacerbating my disability, which clearly you're aware I'm a person with a disability because you already observe, number one, you see a sign right here. They're saying that. Number two, how do I know what that is? Yeah. What is that? Oh, well, how do you? What do, what do you how do you know I don't have one? You could, but guess what? If you had one and you came in my residency, and I so, came, so you're, you're, you're the victim here, right? here, right? You're the victim here, right? Well, you guys are, victim, are victimizing me, and now I'm in cuffs. Well, you're in cuffs now because of the way you're acting. Why? I asked Who else is here? My don't, don't Why are you grabbing me? I'm not doing it. Relax. 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 But I asked you not to move. Relax. Okay, that's about it. You know what? You can you could call up whoever you talk to and tell them, explain to them Sir, why we're step here. Step on my rug, please. Who, say, who says I want to step on your rug? You might, why are you acting like? These your shoes? See, yes, they are. Okay, good. You can put them on. You have ID with you? Get it. I can't get it. Where's your ID? Would you please remove your hands off of me? No, I will not. I'm not resisting. No, I will not. No, I will not. And I recommend you don't resist. So put your shoes on. Why would I resist so you y'all can Go put, put your shoes on? That's what y'all want to do anyhow. What's your problem? You? You know what? We came here because you called for help. I, I didn't, I didn't help. call you. I didn't call you. Who'd you call? I did not call Who you. Who did you call? I didn't call you. Who do you think they're going to call? I don't know. Okay. Obviously, I wouldn't want them to call you all. Well, they did. Okay. okay. Well, and now you're you're in our custody mm -hmm. because you're well, under a mental evaluation. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Okay. okay. And the body cams are working too. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Good. Absolutely. Where's your ID? Do you want your ID? I can't get it because I'm not going to allow you to go through my things. Okay. So you don't own any weapons. I already showed you that I had no weapon. I don't know that. I don't know that. Okay, you don't know anything. Because I could go looking for anywhere that you might have a weapon if you're going on a 5150 hole. I shouldn't be on a 5150 hole. Why don't you? That's, a, that's an abuse of authority to put someone on a 5150 hole who has okay. no sign of harm in itself. Are these your keys to your apartment, sir? They are. Okay. Yeah. Enforcement, the way you're acting. I don't, I don't, I can't believe you're a law enforcement either. But you are. Yeah. Well, yeah. You see it all too often in terms of how law enforcement act. Act toward two. Hey, could you go to let Aaron, go let Aaron know that I'm being a law enforcement Don't worry Did about it. Did you do that for me? Aaron. The lease, the, the manager here. Could you let him know? Could you let him know? Aaron. Yeah, you can be Don't tell Donna for me. Will you go tell Donna for me? Yeah, right here. Donna. Don, go, go tell Aaron that I'm being unlawfully detained. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Yes. Yeah. For no reason. For no reason whatsoever. You called us. I did not call you. Oh, I called you so you could. Yeah. Why are you using the arm bar on me? I'm turning around. What are you? Oh, I gotta face this way now. Why is that? What you how? What you mean? How am I acting? I hope this is gonna be worth it to you. I hope it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, I'm not.
We'll be sitting down in this car, okay? Why would not I not sit down in this car? Good, thank you. Hey, you won't let me get a one hand in this car. Get up. Get up. Get up. You can speak to me in a different tone this car. You don't need to scroll. And don't say that I am, because you claim you're supposed to be helping me. It's the right. These cups are just fine. It's the right. And it's not that it's loose as positioning of my arm. What are you talking about? I have a... Okay, you're aware you that I'm a disabled veteran, right? right? Sure. Yeah, okay, well, that's what I you're have several ridiculous options. You see, there's plenty of room there. No, it's not about the room. It's there's the positioning of my arms. Well, how do you want your arms? I, I need this cup to be removed so from the front. You know what? The cups wouldn't be on you if you weren't acting okay, the way you are. Acting by exercising my confidence. Okay, have a seat. I just, I just checked your cuffs. Get okay, in. it's not the cuffs, it's the positioning of my arms. I requested that position. That's, that's I, how the LAPD does no, their handcuffs. You can so, you, so, that's the purpose of asking for a reasonable accommodation. And that was the reasonable no, accommodation. No, the reasonable accommodation is to re reposition my arm because it's exactly Reposition it how? I need it in the front because it's exactly That's not how we I do have, That's not how we do our the, handcuffs. The, well, the thing about asking for a reasonable accommodation is Policy exception. No, we don't have a policy exception yes, for that. Yes, you do. Everyone no. supplies by okay. hand. No, 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 police do not. Police do not. I just explained to you what we did. You haven't done anything. It has nothing to do with the cuffs. It's just positioning on my arm. The officers finally get a hold of someone and request a supervisor to arrive on scene. You know what? Call a supervisor. Mr. Slate, what's your birthday? I uh, I'm requesting a superior officer. And we're going to take you to C1. You need to leave now, then. I'm insane. I'm requesting a superior officer. All right. We're going to take you right hey, now. This is uh, Wheeler from Central Division. How are you? Good. I'm out here in the field, and we have a, uh, this, uh, we got a radio call, the second hand uh, caller from uh, the Veterans Crisis Hotline. And anyways, we're out to his place. According to the uh, comments, he was considering committing. That's not we're true. Here. We're here at scene. Um, have him in custody, but we cannot get a hold of uh, the actual PR who was calling from the uh, Veterans Crisis. He said oh, he yeah. did call them, but he did not threaten to commit to it. 1x25. Yeah, I actually tried to call. I actually tried to call them, and uh, wasn't able to uh, reach her. I mean, that, that's a, probably a huge. Uh, <laughs> we don't. Are you gonna help me with the handcuffs? No, look, I'm gonna yeah, ask you something. Uh, okay. well, I want to talk to you for a second. My arm Douglas, is exacerbated. Douglas, Douglas. I don't want to talk to you. If that's what we I have. don't want you to be in handcuffs. I need medical attention. I need medical attention. Okay. I need medical Could you take me to get medical attention? Yes, you will get medical attention. I need it immediately. Okay. I've asked for a reasonable accommodation for the last 15 minutes. Douglas, you, guys aren't you requested a supervisor. I called one. No, I, but now what? he's taking them to. I need okay. medical I requested an accommodation okay. as well. I'm okay. the ADA okay. and the California okay. Disability Person. Okay. You guys are refusing to do that. Douglas. Why you you don't, like if you don't need... If you don't need medical yeah. assistance, I said I need medical attention. I don't know why you would say something different than what I just said. I need medical attention. Do you take any medication? Two, I'm not answering that question. I need medical attention. Need okay. What's your birthday? I'm not answering that question. Either. They're going to need this information. I'm already taking what you mean. They're going to need it. You already got me in coach now? Shit. They're going to find it out anyway. I'm not answering any of your questions. You don't want to answer any questions. I don't have to. You haven't even told me that. You can call them an ambulance. And then you can go with them if you want. Uh, Douglas. So you would like me to call you an ambulance? I need, I need medical attention. You would like me what to call you an ambulance? I need medical attention. Okay, can you tell me the 